Welcome to Yeast Breads. And in making yeast breads, we need to learn how to activate yeast. Now, you have already had your unit in Quick Breads, and you've learned all about baking soda and baking powder. And those are chemical leaveners, so they work simply because they're a chemical that produce carbon dioxide. In yeast breads, we use yeast. Yeast is, um, this has some sugar mixed in it, but yeast are those little tan colored granules, and it's a fungus. And as the yeast grows, then it produces carbon dioxide. Now, yeast behaves very differently than uh, baking soda and baking powder. We must feed it, we must keep it warm, and we must give it time to grow. Okay? So the way you activate yeast is you need water, and then in here I've also added some sugar to feed the yeast. So I have four and a half teaspoons of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar and a cup of water. Now, the water needs to be about 105 degrees, and we're not going to be using thermometers to measure that. The way you do it is you kind of, you need to have clean hands, and I just washed my hands. And you put your hand in there, and it should feel nice and warm. You shouldn't pull your hand out going, oh, it's hot. You should be able to keep your fingers in there and go, okay, this is kind of warm. I, it's still a smidge hot, so I'm just going to stir it because I, at no point should I be going, this is burning my hand. But it should be nice and warm. You shouldn't put your hand in there and go, oh, this is just barely warm. It needs to be warm just before it burns your hand. Now, if the water is too hot, it will kill your yeast and your bread will not rise. Now, yeast breads are high maintenance. That means they take a lot of work. I mean, you're looking at three hours from beginning to end if you take no breaks. So, you don't want to mess it up here at the beginning and find out that, you know, in two hours your bread didn't rise. If your water is too cold, your bread will not rise very much. It'll just be a little higher than a hockey puck. If it, you kill the yeast, you're going to have hockey pucks for cinnamon rolls and they're going to be very tough. So this is a good temperature, so you pour this in here and you stir. Now you want to dissolve all of the yeast. And as this yeast ferments, it's going to have kind of an alcohol smell. Okay, it's not going to have, you're not going to drink this. It's not like that. It's just going to have that alcohol smell because the sugar is going to ferment as it's being used for food in the yeast. Okay. Once this is all dissolved, you let it set for a few minutes and it'll start bubbling. It'll get this bubbly foam all over the top and then you know you've done it right. Okay, about five minutes has passed since we started activating our yeast and we're going to zoom in here and show you the yeast mixture. You can see there's a nice layer of foam. carbon dioxide. It's starting to use that sugar for food and grow and produce a foam. So this yeast is ready to be used in some yeast bread. All right? Thank you.